got going? Mm, signed up for an EMT class. Really? You did? That's great. Well, it's a start. You know, they're looking for lab assistants at Center City Hospital, but I figure maybe being an MT is a little more hands-on. Yes, it's that much closer to being an MD. You're on your way back, babe. You are. I can feel it. Up about this switch. Have you forgotten already what I told you last night? That I'm going to reinstate your status as a doctor. Self-assured, self-possessed, it'll be a snap getting Jake back. And with every day that passes, Liza becomes more and more in love with the life that's going on inside her. The child I gave her. We all live happily ever after. think that I have a hidden agenda? With you, it's a certainty. Why are you being so nice? I, I was one of the people who tried to ride you out of town. Well, I'm back, aren't I? My career is better than ever. Oh, Things are going great. All right, enough with the self-congratulations. I just want to know why. So you want to know my deep, dark secret, huh? If you can say it in under 10 seconds, because I have work to do, David. I like you. You like me. Mm -hmm. Well, not for the obvious reasons. I mean, you're beautiful. You've got brains to spare, but I like your attitude. You remind me a lot of myself. <laughs> and on that note, see you soon. I hope. competition, see if they're running any medical shows. Yeah, and the ratings. Let me know what the ratings are. off to Bermuda with some hideous stranger. But if you're interested in being a mother and a grandmother, would you give me a call sometime? Please? Nobody loves you the way I love you. 
I can't have you. Nobody can. Mother, I don't know if you're there and you're just not picking up. Look, I don't care if you've met the beach boy of your dreams and he has DiCaprio's eyes and Mel Gibson's body. Would you please just call me? Let me know you're okay. I'm gonna call the cops. I mean, I mean it. Works for me. How long have you been standing there? I think the police threat should do the trick. Did your mom do this often? Disappear for days without leaving any trace whatsoever, no. But usually she lets me know what hemisphere she's draining of vodka. I take it you're more worried than you are ticked. No, well, I don't know. She walked in the door right now if I'd kill her or hug her. Yeah, well, my money's on the hug. Probably. Mm. Must be kind of nice to worry. What? Well, whenever my parents took a powder, I always heaved a huge sigh of relief. I envy you. Well, I don't know if parental-induced angst is enviable. Well, having parents you care about is. Yeah, maybe I should still call the cops on her anyway, though. About Marion? Stuart, hi. I, I have tried everything. I, I can't find her. What about you? Yeah, well, there's one place I know she isn't. That's Bermuda. I searched every inch. She's just not there. Today's the day, sweetheart. You're going to be proud of me. I sent Haley the carnival tickets. She's opened them by now, and she won't be able to stay away. Sweetheart's the perfect place to get back at Chandler's daughter. Camille, baby. Daddy's got to say goodbye now. <laughs> He's got a big job to do. Now, I don't want this breaking on me. <laughs> or should I say on her? <laughs> yes, sir. I tried every bit of detecting I learned from Tad, and I still wasn't able to find your mom. Keep sleeping, Joy. You need your rest, baby. What are you doing here? Looking for Stuart. Back from Bermuda, I see. Just this morning. Did you find Marion? Adam, do you know where Marion is? <laughs> of course not. I I was at the gallery when you got the letter from her saying she was going to Bermuda. Yeah, well, I looked all over for her and she's not there. Well, maybe she registered as an uh, alias. Maybe Mrs. John, what's his name? No, I thought of that. I took her picture to every hotel registration desk and every bellhop and every clerk. Nobody's seen her, Adam. Because they couldn't, because she's not there. She never was. Stuart, has it occurred to you that maybe Marion doesn't want to be found? No. Maybe she's found herself um, another friend and gone off to... Maybe they didn't go to Bermuda. Maybe they went to Barbados or uh, Tahiti. Marion didn't do that. I agree with Stuart. My mother is devoted to Stuart. Uh, why would she run off with another man? You're not helping, Liza. Excuse me? Going on about this, this Marion is missing theory. It's raising his hopes. My mother is missing. Oh, nonsense. She's off playing Gilligan's Island with her catch of the day. If my mother ran off with another man, and I don't think that she did, she would have contacted me. Maybe she's busy. 
I would... <laughs> she would have contacted me, Adam. Well, then, in a few days, we'll get a postcard. She would have called me. <laughs> Mothers larking with bim boys don't phone home every night. This mother would. Oh, why? To share the mother-daughter uh, secrets of the boudoir? Don't be crude. Well, don't be naive. Your mother's reverted to type, plain and simple. Not now. Not at this time in my life. Why not now? I am waiting for the biggest news of my life, Adam. Marion doesn't give a damn about ratings. This isn't about ratings. It's about the rabbit, whether the rabbit has died. Are congratulations in order? It's none of your business. You brought up the rabbit. I'm worried about my mother. I would say a lot of things. Um, you, you, your mother mentioned a rabbit dying once before, and, and I just thought you had one as a pet. Actually, it's an old expression, Stuart. You see, when a woman thought that she was going to have a baby, she would go to the doctor and they would have this test. And if the rabbit died... You mean they, they let the rabbits die? Well, not anymore. No, they... It's just that when the rabbit died a long time ago, that meant that the woman was pregnant. Well, wait, wait a minute. Are you pregnant? Oh, it's too early to tell. Oh, well, that's great. I mean, a baby. That, that's, that's great. Yeah, it, it is. But, but, but not right now. It's too soon to tell. It's just a possibility. Wow. Oh, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not you and, and, and Adam, is it? Well, the world is full of miracles. Hmm. Well, I didn't mean to, to embarrass you. Uh, Liza, I, I just, I, I mean, I'm happy that, that, that you met somebody. No, I didn't meet anybody. You didn't even get introduced? <laughs> I, I, went to a, I went to a clinic, Stuart, where they did artificial insemination. Oh! Wow! You must really want a baby. I really do. That's great. That's really great. It's just not as much fun as the other way. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's the baby that's the point, right? Is there a baby? She said it's too soon to tell. Bo, are you pregnant? It's none of your business. Why won't you answer the question? Was the procedure successful or not? <laughs> you, you can't ask me that question and, and yell at me while standing behind my own desk. I'm not yelling at you. I'm asking a simple question. No, stop. This is not something to fight about, you two. Having a baby is one of the most wonderful, glorious things in life. Hey, Liza, you're absolutely right. Your mother would not have missed this for the world. No, my mother wouldn't have. She was so excited. She was as excited as I was she about the baby. She never would have gone off someplace no, like that. No, she wouldn't. Don't worry about Miriam. Stress is not good for the baby. I mean, if there is a baby. Shut up, Adam. You know, my mother's missing. Nobody knows where she is. Nobody knows if anything has even happened to her. Nothing has happened. Nothing. I'll prove it. Here, I'll, I'll get an investigative team on the case right away. What's your angle? There's no angle. I hate seeing you and Stuart tearing your hair out, that's all. Well, why are you talking to him about looking for, for Miriam? Tell him to be on the lookout for Lee Hawkins, too. Lee Hawkins? is dead. Oh, oh, no. No, he's not, Adam. Oh, dear God, I don't know how your mother took this, Camille. Your father... It's definitely not all there. Oh, my God. Looks like a... I dragged myself under the table and through the floor. Oh, oh Stuart. Where are you? Oh, Stuart. Oh, Stuart. Oh, did you 
get in here. No. This place is sealed. I have my ways. There's a skylight in the roof. In a mausoleum? Yeah. A view of heaven. Oh, of course. Why didn't I notice that? Oh, but never mind about that. You're here. Thank no. you, God. Oh, oh, thank you, God. Thank you for answering my prayer. Oh, Stuart. I nearly lost hope, you know. It's really been horrible. Oh, I know. I know. I almost gave up. I thought I wouldn't get out of here alive. Well, you have. And we're together now. Yeah. Oh, boy, I must look awful. <laughs> oh, no, you look beautiful to me. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart. You always have. But you're hurt. It's okay. It's okay. It's not bad, really. Well, don't you worry, Mary. I'm going to take care of you from now on. Oh, Stuart. Well, we're going to be together forever and ever.